Codvites Fishing Adventures turned up again at Macro. Scene of the last videos. Huge cod. This is the next day. Uh, just as I was uh, setting up, just got a massive pull down, just missed a big cod, unfortunately. But you can't have them all, can you? I never missed one yesterday, but today I did. Um, what can you do? It's just. Uh, it's a cracking night, it's lovely and warm, tiny bit of breeze, nothing much. Uh, just got a bite on the end rod again, keep an eye on that one. Keep an eye on that end rod guys, because it's knocking. Let's hope we can get a few more cod then eh? Because it's producing at the moment and it's not far off uh, end of cold season, so down the umber. So I'll get as many as we can. I'm fishing with uh, Gordon Wolfman and Marcus, pitch it and cast, who's uh, <coughs> about 30 and 50 metres to the right of me. So let's hope between us we can get some good fish. Wait for my brothers to come as well, he's going to arrive with me some uh, nice, lovely, fresh blacks when I get them. But I've still got some bait at the moment, so I'm not bothered. But I'll leave you on the rods for a bit guys and uh, hopefully we'll get a few fish let's just get a nice little uh, view of them uh, rods for you because we don't want to miss a bite do we shame we never got the last one in camera but you can't have them all can you it's all good Also a bit of rain forecast as well, so let's hope it doesn't uh, it doesn't come back to haunt us, eh? like it did yesterday. But uh, it wasn't so bad, it looked like it was going to have a big storm, but we didn't really get it. Let's hope it's a good night for the fish today. Eh? I think it's just a tiny bit too early yet guys because it's about three and a half hours too high uh, I reckon another hour and a half and it'll be, uh, it'll be in tip top condition but it's as flat as a mill pond again like yesterday uh, it's riffing through a bit faster than it was yesterday but uh, it is a bit early and I didn't come this early yesterday I reckon max 25 metres or you'll be banked Problem is with you, you don't want to be pulling in so often so you'll end up losing a lot of gear. I've come with a spare battery tonight as well because I forgot yesterday. <coughs> so I've got a spare battery today, so if it's the uh, action thick and fast, I can uh, get it on camera. Can have a look at this one guys because it was the first cast I just want to see what the weed's like. Nothing on it, I just want to see what the weed's like.
hell of a lot of weed. Yeah. Got a rig here as well, I hope it isn't one of yours. Nope. Cross bare leg then. Wall <laughs> coming handy, won't it? Big bonus that. Thought it was a bit bloody heavy. I'm not liking the look of that weed. I've snapped the bloody thing off now, it's down there though, I know where it is. It's there, that lump there. I don't know how to do that, it's just there in that lump. But it's not worth going over because it's... You don't want to be going in there, it's not worth it. Not for a lead. No. But, uh, uh, it's not my lead anyway, so I'm not bothered. But uh, yeah, look at that, that's bad that. Not happy about that, definitely not. What are you using? You got a shock leader on? No. God, because you, you don't want one of you. I got a £75 braid straight through. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, that's shit. I've still got the rig on her. What the fuck's all that? Yeah, you've still got it. i tell you, there's some trolleys down here, and if you don't know where you're casting, People get rigged up in them, causes mayhem. You still got it? I think so, it's on the fence. I was trying to unwrap it all, it's all wrapped around the gear. Oh, fine. Alright, I'll better get back to mine. Yeah, just show you, doesn't it? There's a lot of crap in there. Yeah. So, the bonus, I've got my gear back. <laughs> yeah. Right, got sprucked around that, but I'm gonna have to cut that off. Because it's uh You're gonna cut it all off? Not man, just gonna stuff that stuff on it. Alright. Ah, I've got a couple of pairs in there if you want to use them. I'll keep two of everything just in case. Yeah, well, I've usually got a couple of pairs of scissors. Yeah, that's not my gear there, so that can come off. I'll leave it out, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it ain't mine. <laughs> is there that. a pin here? No, there isn't, unfortunately. Ooh, that's good. Don't want to get caught on it again. No, I've got no. I might go and find a bag later. Where's our kid guys up there? It's a favourite spot. Did you, have you got a rubbish bag? No. Oh, have you got a pair of no, I've got one. I will, I've got one in the tray. Yeah. That's what I use as well. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I use. I tend to wear yours all that, mate. I've got, a, I've got a tub that I'll put all my dirt and rubbish in. Yeah, that's what you end up with when you keep adding a weight on it, and it's lovely that now. Yeah. That is a beautiful bit, that. That's what you end up with. Yeah, that's what I normally do. Not that long do. in the end. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of scent going in that water. Yeah, that's what you want.
I'll take a little break there guys, I've got all that washing line off and stuff, I put it in a bag so what uh, Gordon's just given me, so I've got a bag, uh, got it back out, but uh, I'll be back shortly uh, with some decent blacks, see if we get some fish. Well back on the rods guys, now happening at the moment, um, it's a bit early as I say, it's a bit early for bites, there's a lot of weed about at the moment so I'm a bit apprehensive about bringing the rods in, I've seen the washing line on the last lot. Well, at least it's holding it. Oh, I've got a bite there. Look at that. That's a nice bite, that. Yeah, Think I'll, uh, if it goes again, guys, I'll have it. If it goes again, I'll have that. Good little bite that. Keep an eye on it guys, the rod nearest to you. I don't like a flatty bite but I mean it gets you off the blank doesn't it? Yeah, get off a blank and then you can hook into some cod. Another rod's going now, guys. It's starting to bite because both my rods have just gone. In a government yard in Treadstone. Well, I thought I had that, guys. It was, uh, it was a regular bite, wasn't it? Very good bite, that was. Unfortunately, no fish to uh, right home about. It's had most of my bait, though. Got some better bait on now though guys, so better bait, I've just got some nice lovely bracks off our kid.
just had a bite on both rods, so there's definitely fish out there. Yeah. Get this back out, guys. I'm only about 25 30 meters out. Don't be any further than that because. I don't know if there's a washing line out there. We well, saw two baits, guys. Don't look at that rod that's bouncing now, it's just because uh, I've just cast that out, it's uh, settling. But, uh, He'll bite in a minute. But I had a bite on both rods as you saw. First one went and then the second one had a go, so it's only flat is like, but uh bite's a bite, isn't it? Plenty of battery life tonight, but I don't want to make a three hour video, that is a fact. So we'll try and get what we can when needed. Definitely fishes out there, though, guys. Still moving, that's not a fish. Right, I'll cut you off for now, guys. Let it settle, and uh, if we get any proper bite action, I'll uh, put it back on. I'll put you on the rods for bits, guys, because uh, I've got fresh bait on. Uh, I've had a couple of bites, but a couple of bites with no fish at the moment. But I mean, it's only early, isn't it? Let's just move this down a little bit. It's more like it. Yeah, I've had a couple of bites. Uh, no, nope, not spectacular. None of us have really had any fish uh, at the moment, but it's only early. I don't usually come from until about, well, I'm usually arriving about now. And this is when I usually start getting bites, so hopefully. Uh, I'm going to move on to some uh, to some action. I've just lost one set of gear, got snagged on the trolley I do believe. I don't usually fish this little bit because of that reason, directly in front of the doors. There's usually snags. So I usually fish here but uh, got nice fresh blacks on and I'm uh, hoping that there's some fish. I'm going to leave you on the rods for a little bit because I want to get you some action because it has been a bit quiet but as I said it's point it's worse than battery. <laughs> Just watching rods sat there doing that, they're not even bobbins, so, you know. It's only a matter of time before one of us pulls a fish in. Yeah, it's only a matter of time, guys, before them rods go big and get a cracking fish. Well, two hours of pram fishing left maybe three for the most. Um, obviously we're looking for some cod.
lovely and peaceful down here tonight guys, I think there's a storm moving in from the left. Uh, just like last night, I hope I don't have to bag the camera because it won't be happy, I won't be happy if I do. Um, it does look like it's a rain clouds coming over though. It's a bit of a bugger if it does. I'll certainly cut the camera work down. You start getting bites in about half an hour, I reckon. Half past twelve. Half twelve. Yeah. No, it's half twelve. Where it's half twelve? Yeah, it is. It was half ten last night. Might be half eleven, I don't know. It's only twenty minutes between them, isn't it? No, it's about forty eight minutes or something. <laughs> there that helicopter took off again. You should pick somebody up. Did he land it? Did it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he landed. Mandy there, the only vision at this side. I think it's about 20 people. It was about 10 or 25 or 10 or 20. 23-20. Twenty-three, twenty. Twenty-three, twenty-eleven. Twenty-four, twenty-eleven. You might be able to start knocking them out a bit forever now. They're outside, they're coming out the gate, aren't they? All rails behind us. All rails that way. That's out in 45 minutes, well, about 40 minutes. Got a bike, guys. Bike end rod, keep an eye on it. <laughs> was a nice bike, but uh, that's not all it was. Oh, it's on a thing that guys. Give it another good if it goes again, I'll peel it, pull it in. I've got a nice bite, let's hope it bites fully. If it goes again, I'm definitely having it in, guys. It is the one I just cast out about uh, just before I turn the camera on. A lovely fresh bait on it. <laughs> just starting to rain as well. Here comes the rain. If it rains guys I'm going to have to cover the camera up unfortunately. I know it's a bit sad, but there's not a lot I can really do about it, other than getting the uh, camera absolutely drenched. 
And obviously I don't want to do that. Right guys, I'll have to take a break for now because it's absolutely pouring down and if, uh, if I don't get a fish I'll put it back. I'm putting you back on while the wind's died guys because I just had uh, a bite on both rods. Uh, the wind stopped and the, uh, the rain stopped for the time being. Both rods are dead straight out and they're out of distance. One's about 70, the other one's about 90. Uh, basically I've had, I've, I've had knocks on both. So keep an eye on them rods. If they move it is a bite because uh, it's like a move thing out there. Looking for the big drop down though guys, big drop down bite, that's what we're looking for. The great if we get a drop down. I'm getting some right tugs on man. We're all starting to get bites guys. My brother's just got a bite about 50 yards, actually about 40 yards up the, to the right of me. Just fishing next to Marcus. Uh, it looks like the fish are coming on, it's about 20 minutes to top. It's usually about the time when they start showing up. It's uh, 5 past 11, our tide's 20 past, so 15 minutes. I'm still on straight black lug. Rain again guys, end rot. It's starting to bloody rain so I don't know if you're going to get this or not. End rod was a good knock. But uh, I say it's starting to rain again so I'm not sure how long you'll be able to watch this. If the lens gets water on it then you're not going to see it very clear. That real fine stuff guys, that soaks everything, so I'm going to have to cover the camera up I'm afraid. Which is a shame because I've just got a nice bite. But uh, obviously if I get a fish, I'm going to have to show you the fish. Because there's not what I can do about it, so I'll catch you in a bit. I'll leave you on camera as long as I can guys, it's, um, it's bite time. Getting bites all over. Uh, I had a right good bite but I pulled it in and I didn't get a fish. We saw the bites on camera anyway, it was not there. Um, it's it just the showers coming down. I've just put fresh baits on both rods and banged them out. Uh, good 70 80 meters, both holding straight out, both on uh, two blacks on each. <coughs> but I've got a bit of old bait poked up the line, so it's, it's quite an hefty bait. Uh, this cod's just come out to the right of me. I won't tell you who caught it because I want to tell you yourself. But cod's just come out, so uh, I don't give the game away for nobody. But I mean, well done to the guy who caught it, and uh, it's all good. But We'll keep an eye on these rods guys, let's uh, let's get some footage while I can because I say there's showers and everything and I'm trying to get footage in while I can. I don't really think it's going to be a blank because I've had quite a few bites um, and I'm sure I'm going to get at least one fish. <coughs> keep the run going. But uh, <coughs> I mean, it's fishing really well. There is cod out there, as I say, because one's just come in just five minutes ago. So there's definitely cod out there. So let's watch these rods and see what happens. Yeah. <coughs>
bite action's coming thick and fast for everybody now, so let's hope we get a few fish here. Yeah? I don't really bother what it is, guys. I've, uh, I've had my fair share of record in the last few sessions, so you know, I don't want to be greedy. I mean, I'll take one if one comes along, but I'm not that fussed as long as it's a fish. A couple of fish, you know. So it makes a good video if you get fish in it, doesn't it? Still a good video if it isn't like, because uh, anything to do with fishing is good. I still like to watch the rods and stuff. Obviously, you're the viewer. You're getting, the, you're getting it from the comfort of your armchair. I'm sat here in all the rain and the, a bit of wind and everything, and uh, you know everything that happens, like all the weed and this, that, and the other. But I mean, you know, it's all good. I keep saying thanks to the subscribers and uh, Jay Martin and Richard, especially the uh, mods that share my channel all over. I mean, they've done a cracking job. Look at that for a bite. You see that bike guys, end rod. They've done a cracking job, so a big big round of applause for them, fantastic. I've reached 2,100 and odd subscribers. Look at the bikes I'm getting now. That could be a cod that. I've got one on both guys. Don't know which one to pull first. I've got a fish on both, I don't know which one to pull first. I've got big pull down bikes on both rods, I don't know which one to pull first. I just don't know if you saw them. You must have seen them bites, cracking bites. Can't believe both went at the same time. Just saw a, a couple of beautiful bites on both rods. Was it? Still a cob. Look at this look. That's a good one, Yeah, I know. Tell you, I've got a. That's a good bite, that. It goes again, I'm going to have that. Andy, I've got one on this as well. I didn't know which one to pull first. If it goes again, I'll pull that. Decent bite there. Yeah, at least I've got it on camera because it's rolling. The other one went just as good. It'll start coming on now and then it'll go off, won't it? Yeah. If it goes again, I'll have it because there's obviously fish there. It was, a, it was a cod bite that looked like, didn't it? Yeah. Plenty of tug on it, wasn't there? Yeah. I had one on both though at the same time. I think there's a, a, quite a few of them come through because both rods was like this, together. And they're well apart. Come on, go again. <laughs> Definitely lovely bait. It's not so, nice yeah. looking cod. It was only about that big though. Yeah, but it's a cod. It's a cod, isn't it? Start, isn't it? It's a cod, isn't it? Yeah. So if the little ones are here, the big ones are here. This is just gone again at this side. There you go. Gone again. Look, there's definitely something on that flat. Maybe. Yeah, it feels like there's a fish on it, but if it is, it's very small. In fact, I don't even feel like it's one on it. Probably chugging being a platy, won't it? Chugging. Yeah. That's probably too big for the platy. I'd just put some squid um, on that one. Getting bites on both fronts now, though, so there's definitely fish about, isn't there? Oh, yeah, they're starting to come on. I don't think any was doing a blank. Wouldn't it have been better, though? Oh, yeah, it's had all my bait. Yeah. Look at that. Wouldn't it have been better, though, if they built this wall up against that wall? Yeah, it would. Wouldn't it? Yeah. And backfilled it all. It'd have been better. It would have been better for the fishermen than the start thing they wanted to exactly. fish here. Well guys, don't ask me how we didn't get a, a fish there. You saw the bite, didn't you? Well, they're starting to come on, aren't they? And the other rod had a, a, just as good a bite on it, so there's definitely fish out there. Look, that's where he's done to my bait. So, it does look like a flatty bite though. Never there. I think my hooks are a bit too big for flatties. Oh, that one's off now, look. Yeah. See it? Yeah. That was a better one, that one. Yeah. Definitely something on that. Probably a cod back. <coughs> but, uh, 
it's, if it is, it's very small. This is a stiff rod, so you don't do a lot of bending this. Yeah, that is it, yeah. I think the are a bit too big for flatties. So the flatties will just be sucking the worms off. Come on now. Yeah. Nah, it feels really light, but it's a stiff rod, so if it's a small flat, you wouldn't feel it anyway. Nah. The biting though, now aren't they? Yeah, you saw both go, didn't you? Both biting. Let's <laughs> rebirt these guys. <laughs> Nice fresh blacks ready on my stand, guys. Just uh, make me thick and fast. I'm actually baiting these to, to get cods, to be fair. I don't really want a flatty, but you know, if I get one, accidentally is the say, because when you're putting baits out that big, you don't expect to get a flatty on it. So we'll see. I don't particularly want a flatty. Good job I saw that guys, it's wrapped around my eye. If I wouldn't have seen it, I'd have lost my gear. Good job I looked. Done. I'm casting out a distance because it's slack like water. And I want to get some big fish. Fair distance out that guys. Same with you that. <laughs> See look, the right mess of a bit. But as I say I'm pushing it on the line because uh, you know you saw in the last video that massive cod. That's exactly how I got it. The plan for a bit push up the line. Obviously, it's more to look at the water, isn't it? And feel about. Lovely cod size bait. Look at that, look. Beautiful. one out of distance as well. Oh, no. Is it a flatty? No. What you got? Flatty is better than a knotty though, isn't it? <laughs> Right guys, we're getting the attention on them rods. 
I'll uh, give you a shout, but obviously you saw the bike. Yeah, I'm in this jam. Hundred percent in this time. Could be a cob this, you know. Platty! Platty, it's a decent one and all. How do you just cast that out? Let's get this flatty off guys. It's a nice one. He's got 35 Do you want it Marcus? No, I've got this one. I hope you safe mate. Okay. Hey, it's a nice one. Are you measuring it? There we go, guys. Beautiful specimen, that. Look at that. Beautiful flatty. Beautiful. It looks about 30 centimetres. Why have you got to measure? I have on my box. Have you not got one? Yeah, we're not going to wet it for flat. It's not bad, isn't it? It's not 30, isn't it? Do you want to measure around mine? I'm not that bothered about measuring. It's not 30, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, it's about 30. Definitely about nice flat. Nice flat, isn't it? It's almost the size of the freaking box. Nice flat, eh? Yeah. Lovely lip up flat, eh? Yeah, but Right, I'm put this back, guys. Up. I don't want to keep it out of the water too long. I was going to say, mine was. Mine swallowed it. I had to cut the hook. We did say they'd come on, didn't we, near top? Yeah. Now everybody will get them. I'll leave the camera on rolling for a bit, guys, because that other car, the, the, the other rod's out at distance. The last time I got a bite, I got two. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get a fly on that hook, but I did. Keep an eye on that rod guys while I'm just threading this. I don't want to go too far up my land because they'll side swipe it. Which is obviously what I don't want. because I pulled it in too far when I pulled it up. <laughs> but I'm expecting some more fish because you usually do get a good hour here. Yeah, you usually get a nice hour's fishing. Obviously all the time you're not in the water you're not going to catch it. It's holding lovely now though guys, lovely. You can get out of distance and it's holding. Just tighten that other rod up because it looks a bit slack. Right, I'm going to wang this one out at a uh, big distance. See there's any big cod out there.
I thought I was over it guys but I'm not so that one back and the line was a bit slack it's probably with braided it's a very light line and uh, sometimes it's not tight it can make it look like it's gonna be a line when it actually hasn't I didn't think it had because it's it's our distance more distance than the the spot Well, this one had a blank, guys. <laughs> now we can just uh, fish for sport now. Well, let's see if we can get some cod. We're gonna have a nice cod for you. We'll leave you on the rods because everything's happening, and uh, you never know. Right, it's looking to a nice big juicy cod. I'm well out there now. Distance. You want to get as far out as you can now with them cod about. Is everybody caught now? What? You caught out else? <laughs> well, listen, no blank guys, that's uh, four cracking sessions on the trot. It's weird how we had two blanks on the trot. I think it was two or three, I can't remember. And then bang, back to a run. I've just got a feeling that there's a big cod out there on my name on it. I mean again. Again, guys, what well, nearest to us? I think that has crossed now, so I've got to be careful here. Now I've got a bite on it, but it's crossed. I'll just tighten that up and have a look. Hopefully, well, it doesn't matter if it does cross, it's way further out than the, the one nearest to us. Now I've got a bite on the one nearest to us, just keep an eye on that. Not like it was a flatty bike, but I mean, we'll take flatties at the moment if there's no cod about. I mean, that last flatty I've just got was beautiful flatty. Really clean, chubby flatty. Nice lip hook as well. So, spot on. I mean, nine times I would send them flatties while you're up and you have problems going them out, but that was lovely. You know, if it was all like that, it'd be great. I've never actually took a flat to home, I don't know what they taste like. <coughs> Can't honestly say I've eaten one. People say they're lovely, but I've just never eaten one. <coughs> Love a big cod again, guys. I mean, you can't grumble, I'm not going to grumble. I've had my fair share this season. I'm trying to keep you on the action because there's not much time to fish left. I mean, once, it's, once the tide swings, it'll rip through here and what else well down will probably call it a day. So, um, you know, once, once that happens and you start getting pulled over there, I'll lose all my gear because there's, uh, there's lots of snags to the left of me. <coughs> you can avoid them when it's slack water or it's coming in, but when it's going out it drags you into one and there's nothing you can do about it. Like a nice cod again though, but as I say, you can't be really greedy, can you? Well, you can. But you know, it's Pete the Blank first always is. I'm quite happy with that flatty guys because it was a, a lovely specimen that. Really clean. I 
Well, 30 centimetre one. There's a bigger one just coming to the right of me, about 35, 36 centimetre. <coughs> Yeah, if I cut her out there, I've got the same bait on as last night, so... Except it's fresher. It only takes one bite, guys, doesn't it, to go through? a bit quiet, I did have a little pull on the uh, nearest to us, but it's gone quiet. It's not the little pulls we want, it's the big ones and the slack liners. That's what I'm after. It's about our tide now, bang on, so there's a bit of slack water coming now. I still haven't got to shut this floor off guys, I don't know how I can get rid of it, it's been a bit of a twat this. Just going to check these lands. Yeah, they've definitely crossed this time I think, I'm just going to check though. I don't want to wear... Uh, I don't know, it's just a bit slack. Check it now. Yeah, they have crossed this time. Definitely. That definitely wants to go there. Keep it on for a bit, guys. <laughs> Seems to have gone a bit quiet again now. Let's take a little break there, because it has been a long session, and if I uh, don't get anything, I'll be back. Well, back, fellas. Um, I've had a little few nibbles, but no significant bites at the moment again it's i'll tell you what time it is now it's uh it won't be far off going out guys to tell you the truth it's uh it should be going out now or it's slack water still but it's uh, it's going to turn shortly so if there's any, any fish to be had it's going to be around now before it starts turning because i don't want to be pulled into them snags and that's what'll happen I'll leave you on the rods for a few minutes 
there won't be much video left because as I say I'm not staying so long after I because the actual place I'm fishing is not where I usually fish and there's a lot of snags where I am and I know for a fact I'll lose gear I've already lost one lot and I've already been stuck a few times so it's gonna drag me that way so I'll leave you on the camera for a bit and just see what happens Beautiful night though guys, absolutely beautiful night. It is absolutely dead flat out there. The wind's dropped to zero. Uh, the rain stopped. It's warm. I mean it's it feels like it's five or six, seven degrees. I don't know. It's it's just warm, I act cold. I act cold in the slightest. The only reason I've got my jacket fastened and that is because it keeps showering. But other than that, it's uh it's spawn. I mean I certainly fish here all night in this weather. I could actually go uh, just wear my uh, hoodie if it was uh, not going to rain, but I feel a lot more comfy just in an hoodie, so you've got more movement. I know there's cod out there because somebody's pulled one in, obviously, and I had to tell you all ones, but the cod has come in and uh, a couple of flatties up to now. But as I say, we're beating the blanks, I'm not bothered. I mean, uh, still a night out. It's been a lovely night. I don't know why, but in the last few nights I've been here, it's been real peaceful. There's not many people been fishing. And obviously there's four of us fishing tonight, but we're all, we're all new each other like so. But there's no, no others fishing, which is ridiculous, because uh, the cod are on, definitely the cod are here. Well, the last video proves it. Dead as a dodo at the moment. Dead as a dodo. I'd have thought we'd have had more bites than we've had. Especially when we're in that uh, lovely period where you get them. I mean, this water's going to start ripping out shortly, and uh, them lines are going to go right over there to the left. Disappearing towards uh, Paul area. Definitely. I mean, it does fish all right down here, um, going down for about an hour and a half, two hours down. But you, um, you get a lot of weed, you get a lot of snags. So I'm not, I don't really like fishing it down here. Can't grumble though. The last two sessions here, I lost one set of gear, and that was uh, earlier tonight. Well, that was only because I got snagged on there. Uh, well, I know, I know where it is, but I just uh, I got carried into it.
Well, if you're not going to get rid of the bite, you're going to see it perfectly, aren't you? said before though you can uh, you can fish here hours and not get a bite and all of a sudden mr 10 pound cod comes swimming by and uh, likes what's on your up and bang you've got a, a cracking fish so you know it's patience really it's all patience when you start seeing them bo uh, rubs, rubs bobbing you know the tide's moving uh, it's dead at the moment, but it's due to go out any minute, so we'll start bobbing in a minute and then I'll start drifting to the right, uh, left, sorry, and then it'll be, yeah, uh, it'll be a uh, weed session and uh, not holding, uh, holding bottom. But I'm trying to stack these videos, I've, this is five videos I've got stacked up now in this, uh, in the last seven or eight days I've stacked five videos up back to back because as I say, I'm due to have this operation on my back and uh, ask if it doesn't get moved again. Um, but I'm stacking the videos up so we've got footage. Um, luckily, yeah, I've had some cracking footage. We should have seen previously. But um, it's all good. This will be my uh, one, two, three, fourth straight session with fish. After doing a, a streak of 14 and then I think got three blanks and then I've got I'm back on a four streak now. Two of them producing cod, so it's all good. I was hoping this would be uh, three of them producing cod, but you know it's still early yet, I might get one. Just really happy with my lighting and my setup at the moment because it's uh, a cracking setup now. It's the, the lighting is just spot on. I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to be a good summer season. Hopefully, I'll get a turbot and a tow because I ain't had one. A turbot, a tow, and I was hoping to get an addict, but I ain't had one of them either. So that's a bit of a shame. There's been some guilt and bream and, and, uh, um, caught as well. I mean, you've got virtually zero chance of catching one of them. Absolutely zero chance. But, um, it's all good. I haven't caught a mackerel either, but obviously I haven't gone fishing for mackerel. There's no mackerel, you know, where we're fishing. So, uh, I think you have to move further up the east coast to get mackerel. I'm not really a mackerel eater anyway, so if you like mackerel, that's great. I enjoy eating cod, I enjoy eating uh, whiting. I certainly eat uh, an addict if I caught one. I haven't had the flatfish, so I can't really, uh, I can't really comment. I haven't even eaten a sole, and I caught a lovely sole uh, this year, but well, last year, within the last year. But um, I didn't eat that either. I wish I had now because it was a decent size. Because everybody's telling me it tastes so good, and I never tried one. I think if I ever get one again which hopefully I will and it's a decent size I will uh, I will have it I think the tide's just turned guys because uh, that rod just lifted and that's a clear <laughs> sand it's a clear sand tide has just turned it's 
So I'm expecting them now to start bobbing and drifting to the left. But with it, you sometimes get a few bites in the first half an hour of it going out because obviously them fish that have passed your rod and gone up up the uh, river are going to come back down again hopefully. And uh, you get the return bites. I'm not sure any big cod's going to come out to play, but you never know, do you? I might start getting a bit of weed now. Definitely going to cut you for a bit now because I don't want this video to be massively long. Um, but uh, obviously, if there's anything going to happen, I'll be back as soon as I can. Right, guys, I've uh, not far off the end here. I'm going to pull one rod in now. Uh, battery's nearly out. Anyway, I'm going to pull one rod in. Strip it all down and that. I'm going to leave one out, but I mean, it's pulling way to the left now, and I'm going to end, uh, going to end up losing my gear. So I'm going to pull this one in because it's crossed me over one. And uh, before I lose it, I will lose it. That's a fact. If they haven't already. Probably get a load of weed now as well. Actually feels like there's a fish on the ground, probably against the tarp, it's probably what we need. What's Mark here? Okay. Well, yeah, you get pulled into them trolleys. I've got it out. I'm lucky. Okay. Just move here. Now I've got it back. Oh, you got it back? Yeah, I was lucky, really, but I did get snagged on the trolleys. Pulled me right to the right to the left, like it's nearly banked. Yeah. Well, I'm going to fish with a one now, not daft. Right guys, I freed that. Right, I'm going to call this video a day anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's been a good session. I've, I've had a flat taste, I'm not bothered. Uh, last video was fantastic, the one before this one, so 
you know, I've had a good run. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a lovely calm night. It's been nice fishing with um, Gordon, Wolfman, and Marcus, pitching cast, uh, my brother Andy. It's been great. Uh, there's been a cod, there's been a few flies. It's been alright, it's been a great night. Till next time, uh, somewhere, maybe a beach, who knows. Till next time, it's a good bye from me.